Port a Portal is a good site for you to bookmark your your sites that you're finding that you want to share with students. It's really easy to use, it's free, and we find that it's organized in a way that students understand. So you go to portalportal.com over here where it says sign up. You would sign up for an account and you just fill in all of these things here and hit join port a portal. After you do that, you will get an email that asks you to, to verify and click on a link. I'm going to skip that step and show you how to organize everything once you get in. This is my Porta Portal site and you can see that I've got editing buttons right here and I've got lots of different folders for all of the things that I am bookmarking. Here's an example. I have one big category called science. Whenever I click on that collapsed folder there, you've got every different unit that I would teach in science. And some of them even have additional folders within folders. The friction forces does. The way that I get new folders is over here. This would be to add a subfolder. This would be to edit the links that are in that folder. And this would be to add links and files to the folder. In order to get a folder in the first place, I would go up here to where it says add categories. So let's do that. We'll just add a category and we will type in example. It went all the way down here to the bottom. So if I want to add links in there, let's type in my blog site. And I can put an icon there if I want to. So whenever I hit add links, now if I want to look at it, you see where it says new. My students can click there and go to it. My students are going to log into a different area that I will show you in just a moment. One thing that people need to be aware of whenever you first begin using Porta Portal is it's set up to be private at the beginning for some reason. So you'll go over here to where it says preferences, click on that. You can change all your colors, but right here where it says allow guest access, the default is do not allow guest access. So you always want to change that because otherwise your students wouldn't be able to get in. Then just click change user preferences. I'm going to log out and my guest access name, this is what I would give my students, is my username. So it's just my username without my password. They click visit. And notice it looks a lot different. First of all, I don't have all those editing tools here because they I don't want my students to be able to edit. I still have everything I had before in science. But there aren't as many categories because some of the things that I had in bookmarked in Porta Portal were for me. They were not for students. So therefore I had them hidden so the students couldn't access them. They were private. Now if any of my students needed to go to a site, I would say, okay, this is reading class right now. We are working on author's purpose, so you need to go to that folder, and there are your resources for today. Go ahead and click on whatever you whatever you need to to complete your assignment. And that is it.